off the get-go for uh, I hit a hundred subscribers a couple days ago and I'm very very happy guys I really appreciate all the subs I appreciate the comments I appreciate the shares and likes and uh, just thanks a lot guys so I'm here on uh, I'm just out uh, a little spot called Kildare in Prince Edward Island uh, this is the Atlantic Ocean here uh, Today I'm just going to basically try to uh, make some uh, glue out of pitch and charcoal. Um, should be interesting. I picked these shells up on the way and uh, they're not going to work. I thought I'd uh, be able to uh, melt, melt up the uh, pitch in the shells, but it's not going to happen. They're too fragile. So uh, I have an Altoid tin I'm going to use. But now if I had some uh, bar clam shells, uh, they would definitely work. They're a real thick shell. That's what I was looking for. I kind of knew there wouldn't be any along this shore, but I was hopeful. No luck. Just breaking, trying to get some of the darker stuff off the top. So I can get some of the clear stuff underneath. Basically right now I'm just gathering some uh, pitcher from a uh, spruce tree I just want to uh, throw this in the video here this haversack. I picked this up at an army surplus it's uh, Parks Land, it's called. It's like a type of canvas, cotton or whatnot. Uh, I got this thing for like, I don't know, seven bucks or something. So anybody on a, you know, looking for budget gear, starting out, just something like that's all you need. Just something to put your stuff in. It's all you need. For anybody that's wondering what knife I'm using, it's a Strayed 36. You get them for about 36 bucks or so, Canadian. I've had this now for about six months, and I've been uh, really put it to the task. It's really heavy duty. You see how thick it is there. <clears throat> I mean, for the price, for anybody looking for budget bush gear, guys, I mean, for 36 bucks, like I said, I've been putting it through a lot. It comes with a coating on it, so you can see where it's scratched up and stuff. Apparently that coating is just for shipment purposes, because they come from overseas. So once it gets scratched up a little more, I think I'm going to strip it right down and uh, see how it looks.
So I'm gonna start my fire with my ferro rod and some char cloth. That's where I keep my char first aid kit and my char cloth in this tin with some ranger bands. Keeps it somewhat dry around the edges. And it's great for uh, emergency fires when you really need something to get going. Your ranger brand will work really good. this out there too. I was doing a, a video, a couple videos a while back of making a shelter and there was supposed to be a part three. But I just can't finish it because where I was actually doing it, they went in and they were cutting lumber right in that area. So uh, it's not going to happen. But I just wanted to let people know because I, I had on the second video I said there was So be a I, uh, I pulled charcoal out of the uh, fire or um, some coals there and I let it cool down that's what I'm going to crush up here with the rock and there's my uh, my uh, pitch that I'll be using so I'm just going to crush this up here nice and fine basically I don't know if you can see through the smoke there I'm going to heat up my pitch here you don't want to catch fire either so you kind of got to play around with it a bit. I'm going to stir it up with this a bit. You can hear it there. Mm, smells good. You can see it there. See it starting to melt. You don't want your fire going too crazy when you're doing this. It's a little cool today. It's probably around nine, minus 10. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a notch and a couple uh, sticks so when the glue is done that I'm making from the pitch and charcoal we'll uh, try bonding them together and just see how well it holds. I know you got to have certain consistency to, to make it harder and if you go too hard then it gets brittle so we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so now I'm going to mix in uh, some of the charcoal. Oh, I didn't do too much there, hopefully.
basically that's what it looks like as it's drying. Now if a person plays with it enough and figures out the right amount of each material, you could probably make it harder or not quite as hard so you can work with it a bit better. There's many uses you could use this for really. And uh, So basically it's hard in the tin there now and what I'll do, I'll just uh, keep it in there, close it up, keep it, put it away and uh, when I need it I just reheat it, it melts and I use it. 